Eh bien, salut tout le monde, tout écrit écrit et bienvenue sur The Walking Dead. Alors là, dans le fond, ça me laisse ici, ça se fatigue d'où On était euh, vers la direction de la ferme, euh, ce que j'ai la marque. Hein? On avait aussi, on était dans l'épisode 2, que l'épisode 1, on avait terminé mon dernier épisode. On avait aussi commencé l'épisode 2. Donc, let's go, on va continuer sans plus attendre. Donc, let's go ici. Let's go, donc, épisode 2. On y va, les boys. Donc, voilà, épisode 2. Let's go, on n'a pas le temps de niaiser, j'ai dit faut trois fois même la même chose hein? mais bon en tout cas on y va let's go pas le temps de niaiser est-ce que j'ai cliqué sur A j'avais cliqué sur A je pensais que mon jeu était figé pendant un petit instant voyons donc here it is Saint John family day Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. The fence keeps them out? <laughs> you betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing with generators and amps. I'm going to assume that's a lot. Ever have any accidents? Nah. It's safer here than out there. This place looks untouched. You never know the rest of the world is in ruins. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Yeah, this is our mama. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He's from Macon. A couple of our old farm hands were from Macon. They grow them good there. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? Kenny's working on getting us somewhere safer. He doesn't think the motor end will stay safe forever. Sounds like a smart man. Hold on, I, I thought you said someone else was running things. Oh yeah, uh, I thought she was asking about survival tactics. Well, it don't matter. You're here now. We'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. We're awful hungry. These are for y'all. They fresh this morning. Amazing. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybelle will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What she... We have a vet. But we could bring her here. We can help you folks out. A vet? Oh my! Our prayers have been answered. Maybe our whole group could come for the day. Well, how about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. It'll be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? Why don't I head back with the food and round up everyone for the trip over here? Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. I can handle myself. Take this. Why don't you go ahead and take Ben along anyway? Take care of yourself, Lee. See you in a while. Mark, Lee, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. This place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Oh man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? Before we can think about bringing our whole group here to stay, we need to figure out if this place is as safe as they're telling us. Right. Obviously they think it's safe. But is it safe enough for the kids? I noticed a broken swing over there. Not a big deal, but maybe there's other things not working that we just can't see yet. And checking the fence perimeter? Sounds like a decent way to get a good look at their defenses. Alright, I'll keep my eyes open, and you find out what you can from Andy. <sighs> Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Alright, donc on va parler à euh, Marc. Donc, let's do it pour commencer. So, what have you found out? Is this looking like a good place to stay? I'll keep looking around. Alright, keep me posted. Ok, d'accord, il n'y a pas de blanc sous affaire avec Marc pour l'instant. Donc, qu'est-ce qu'on veut faire Donc, euh, on veut pas aller plus loin par la base, je pense. Hein? Ah, attends, on montre que peut-être que c'est. Euh, ok, non, 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 on peut pas y aller donc. Qu'est-ce qu'il faut faire Donc pour l'instant on a juste une arme, on a juste une hache et tigidou. Euh... Ah, attends, 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 je pense qu'il faut aller par là-bas, hein. Attends, je vais encore une petite main, donc je pense qu'il faut aller par ici. On va aller à la ferme. Ouais, hi there, Lee. What can I do for you, sweetie Can I help you with anything around the house? I think with Danny's help, I've got things pretty well squared away in the kitchen. But feel free to check with Andy. He's got a lot of weight on his shoulders these days, so I'm sure he'd love any help he can get. Your family's done an amazing job of keeping this place up. Well, now aren't you sweet? Thank you, Lee. The boys and I have tried to adapt as best we can, but we still keep some of our old routines to help remind us of better times. How many rooms does this house have? Rooms? Why do you ask? I'm sorry, that was rude of me. Well, don't you worry about it, Lee. We've got a great big dining room that will fit your whole group. What happened to the rest of your staff? Oh, we've had our share of tragedy here. Just like everyone else, I'm sure. Some of our staff took off to find their family as soon as they heard the news. The few that stuck around, well, we lost most of them the first night those things showed up here. It was a tough night. When will dinner be ready? It'll be a while still, but it'll be worth it. Trust me. How's your family been holding up since, uh, you know? All my boys have been my saving grace. They both left their jobs and came home to help out after the attack started happening. I think it was hardest on Danny. Danny was always more of a mama's boy. But don't tell him I said that. <laughs> well, if anything comes up that I can help with, feel free to let me know. Well, Lee, I sure appreciate it. No problem. Okay, d'accord, d'accord, d'accord. C'est juste pour la mère des deux petits gars, des deux garçons. Hein. Il y en a qui s'appelle Danny, je sais l'autre. Comment il s'appelle l'autre? Un an que c'est Danny le mec avec le gilet bleu, c'est Danny, mais l'autre, je sais pas comment il s'appelle justement là, mais bon. En tout cas, il va peut-être le dire à mon débat, il a peut-être déjà dit tout, on sait pas. Oh, ah ben lui là, je sais pas comment il s'appelle lui, voyons donc, on va lui parler. Hein? Hein? Well, I'm glad you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back in the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. You've been stockpiling, huh? We've scraped together a good supply in the last few months. How about yourselves? What kind of protection do you have around here? We collected a few guns to protect ourselves, but we really only use them when we go off the property. When we're inside the perimeter, the fence is all we need to keep us safe. An electric fence is enough to keep out walkers? Walkers? <laughs> is that what you call them? <laughs> That's good. Uh, the old one wouldn't have, but Mac, he was our foreman, he figured out how to amp it up with the generators. We used to sit out here some nights and watch the sons of bitches sizzle and pop when they got too close. Closest thing to entertainment these days, I guess. These generators are enough to power the whole dairy? We got lots. We gotta keep trading for fuel as much as we can, but they all work together to do the trick, you know? Like us? Mark and I can help you with that perimeter now. Oh, good. The fence will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but it's overloaded if we leave the husks out there. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. Well, that'd be great. 
I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, well, that'd be a big help. Sounds easy enough. Stay attentive. You never know. So how's the place looking? Is it safe enough for us to stay? If we can? It's pretty amazing what they've done with this dairy, but let's see what it takes to secure this fence before drawing any conclusions. I can't wait until everyone's out here. Everyone besides Larry. It wouldn't be such a pain in the ass if you weren't telling him we were talking behind his back all the time. I... I'm, I'm sorry, all right? We'll work it out somehow. Well, hopefully he'll calm down once he's out here. There's one. Ugh. Lee, it's dead. Come on, let's push it off. Looks like he's stuck. I'm sure there's still a few more. Once this fence is patched up, this place will be a fortress. God, can you imagine not having to worry about the walkers anymore? It's dangerous. True, but it's also dangerous to the walkers. So what's your take on the brothers? They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. We've got enough people to take this place by force if we have to. Sheesh, Lee. You sound like Kenny. There's another one. I see it. <laughs> you never get used to the smell, do you? <laughs> can't stop thinking about dinner. Would have been nice to get some of those rations. I get hungry too, you know. I'm hungry too, Mark. Do you think they're going to be good for it? Dinner for a whole group of people? If they've got as much food as they say, I, I think so. Come on, I think I see where they're getting in. This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's tangled up in there pretty good. Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Mr. Crispy off of here. I think we'd get better leverage from the other side. Good idea. <clears throat> Little help here, Lee? Holy fuck! What just happened? Fences are on. Why the hell would he turn the fence on? He knows we're out here. What the? Get to the gate. Get down. Now you're fucked. Who the fuck is that? No idea. Fuck. Now what? With the fence on, that gate is our only way out. I can do this all day. Ah. 
Come on. If we can reach the gate, we can get through this station and back to the house. Ah! There is it! I'm seeing one of our overweight men! I see him! We have an agreement! Now, young fuck! What happened? Oh shit, it's one of the dead we pushed down earlier. I'm gonna have to move it. C'est le zombie, voyons donc. Are you okay? Fucking thanks. They have no right being out here. Oh, my lord. What happened to you, sweetheart? It was those bastards in the woods, mama. Yeah. I'll be all right once it's out. God damn, it hurts. Hey, y'all. Mark. Oh, my God. What happened? He got shot with an arrow. Christ. Are you going to be okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I should just pull it out. Oh, no, honey. Come on. Brenda's got you. Come on inside now. We'll have you all sorted out. Well, you must be the best What man. kind of shit is this? We ran into some people on the way up here. Bandits, I guess. I think it was them that attacked us. They gave us a lot of problems in the beginning. Killed a bunch of our farmhand. We were able to get them to stop by making a deal. What you do about these people? Food for protection. Not like we had much of a choice, but they did stop hassling us. God damn it. Carly said this place was locked down tight. It was just a fluke thing. You can't stop assuming there aren't bad people out there. What the hell do you mean a fluke? It could have happened anywhere. Could have happened to us in the motor inn. Listen, we may have had an agreement with those people, but we will not stand for this shit. Ain't no way we're gonna let those sons of bitches get away with this. You know where these assholes are? They're hard to pin down, but I think I know where at least one of their camps are. When you're ready to go scope out that bandit camp, come find us. Bandits? Are you serious? This place isn't safe. We can't stay here. Not safe? This place is a hell of a lot safer than that motor inn. I think all of us and our guns can handle a couple of punks with bows and arrows. What we need to do is find a way to get our whole group out here to stay. Take this place over if we have to. Whoa, cool your jets there, Rambo. These are nice people. Let's not do anything to get us thrown out before we eat. I'm gonna head out and help Dan deal with these bandits. You guys to try to make friends with Andy and Brenda while I'm gone. Well, that's easy. I got charm coming out of my ass. Yeah, that's real charming, Dad. Where's Ben and Carly? Since Carly and Ben ate some of the food on the way to get us, she volunteered to stay behind and watch the motor in until we get back. Hey, uh, 
I remember seeing kids in your group, so I went ahead and fixed that swing while you were out. I hope your kids like swings. A swing? I love swings, just like at my treehouse. Come on, Doc. Why don't you kids go and play on the swing, huh? Yeah. Folks, anytime. We're looking out for you. Ok, donc let's go contrôlons la petite lit. Donc qu'est-ce qu'on a à faire maintenant Est-ce que je parle de cet endroit où je regarde si on peut parler comme à, à nos amis, si on peut si je peux dire ça comme ça. Donc euh, on va commencer par parler à ces deux là-bas. Allons-y. Fellas, how you feeling, Lee? Look, I'm really sorry you almost got killed out there. Uh, we should have told you how dangerous it was. No shit. You saw what they did to your buddy. Nobody's safe here until we start to fight back. But how? The two of us should go out and do some recon. Then we'll all mount up for some revenge. Hell yeah. Who the fuck are these people in the woods? We don't know. I think some of them used to work at the big box up the way. Save lots. Yeah. Anyway, they're nutty as all hell and get mad when they're hungry. So, are you ready to head out there and find their camp? On y va ou pas maintenant? Hmm. Bon, on va y aller tout de suite. Ça va déjà le faire. Yeah, it'll be a good opportunity to find out a bit more about what we're up against. Let's do it. I'll stay here and hold down the fort. Remember, we're just doing reconnaissance for now. No use getting ourselves killed. Ok donc on va jeter un petit goulet à cet endroit let's go donc bon, on prend les trucs ici De quoi on va voir ça y'a rien j'ai vu que je suis rendu qu'on va rien dans Empty Ok c'est toujours vide Ok d'accord oh, attends Tent looks pretty new. Anybody inside? Two sleeping bags. One of them's kid sized. Ok, donc ici y'a tout de quoi. Ok, y'a du truc à se rendre ici. Ici, c'est juste pour regarder. Donc on va regarder par ça. Looks like they were moving a lot of stuff. What's in the boxes? They're all from save lots. The first few days they told folks to gather to the save lots by the interstate. Anything worth taking?
This is too much stuff for just one person. Trust me, these selfish bastards don't stop taking. Probably just to remind us that it's theirs. Boxes from the dairy here. Probably the food we've been giving them. Fuckers cross the line. What do you find? A video camera. Let me see that. Battery's dead, though. Oh, good. What else they got over here? Let's see if we can find anything useful and then get a move on. I see you handled that gun I lent you pretty well. You a hunter? No, but Lily keeps us all on a regular training schedule. Lily? I thought you were running things back there. Yeah, but uh, uh she's got the combat training. Ok, donc y'a plus rien à faire ici maintenant. On les voit pas là où je peux regarder ici. Just water. Ah, y'a quand même de quoi ici. Ici. Empty. But it looks like someone's been eating out of these recently. Yuck, I don't need that. Okay, alright, alright, alright. Ici, no, y'a rien. Mais j'avais avec quelque chose là, mais maintenant je vais regarder. Attends, je vais regarder la chaise, je suis pas sûr de la voir, je vais déjà regarder. Looks like they expected to be here a while. Ok, la cause rien, donc si. Ici, non. Ici, j'ai regardé, ça a l'air petit, alors je sais pas pourquoi j'arrive à rien trouver, voyons donc. Ben, j'arrive à trouver des choses, là, mais ça a l'air petit, comme on peut le truc, y'a pas besoin. Sans rendre attendre, on peut peut-être faire de quoi, je sais jamais. On va se tenter un petit coup d'œil ici. Your guns down. I ain't going back. If you tell him Jolene ain't going back. Hey, we had a deal. No shooting as long as we gave you food. What the fuck happened? You had a deal with them. I ain't them. Oh, I know you. I know what you are. And I know what you do. You don't know me. Steal my shit. Steal everything from me. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> Look. It's not safe up here in the woods. You gotta come back to the dairy. <laughs> oh, it's a hell of a lot safer up here than down there, you best believe. Now maybe you didn't hear me last time. When I asked you, sweet, put your damn guns down. You think I won't kill you? I'm gonna take this here crossbow and put a nice soft arrow right through your eyeball. Into your goddamn brain. You're not men. You're monsters. All men are monsters. Take what they want and then destroy it all. Take a can of beans. Take a little girl. It's all the fucking same to you. You shot Mark, you psycho bitch. Who the fuck is Mark? I don't know any Mark. You shot him at the dairy. The fuck I did. That's them other people. They's good buddies with your boyfriend here. I guess you met him. Ain't they nice? You know what? I changed my mind. I'm putting this arrow right through your balls. Yeah, right through. String them up on that tree. Then I'm gonna head down to that farm and shoot every goddamn person I see. Put down the crossbow. No, sir, I need it. I need it to kill you fuckers. <laughs> Go on, tell him, boy. Tell him what you got in mind. Oh. God damn it! Thanks, I guess. 
Well, you're welcome, I guess. It's a clean shot, though. Right through the forehead. That's good shooting right there. Still, what a waste. So, that's it. We going back? If they ain't here, I don't know where they are. And it ain't a good idea to go tromping through the woods looking for them. So yeah, we head back. Once they see this, they'll get the message. That was a hell of a ride, huh? Jesus, Danny. What? You ain't getting soft on Maria. Not after what they did to your friend. You're back! What happened? Handled it, Mama. This isn't what Terry would have wanted. Terry? My husband. Missing every day. Then screw up for everybody then, why don't you? Oh, calm down, princess. I'll do it myself. What's going on with them? Don't know. Squabbling, looks like. A lot of tension with y'all, huh? Uh, don't mind them. It's how they are. Each of them wants to be in charge, you know? Well, it's probably just the hunger talking. We all get a little test. We'll fix that shortly. And Lee, don't worry your head about them bandits. I'm sorry you've seen more violence than I'd have thought in your short time, but you all are safe here. Don't worry. Think I'll go have a look around. Don't wander too far. Dinner will be ready before you know it. And thank your friend Koch again for me. She and the kids are in the barn with the cattle. That woman is a lifesaver. Je pense que Lee a, re a retrouvé la casquette de Clamatin, hein. On va essayer d'aller lui donner là, mais je sais qu'on peut aller dans la grange, mais avant tout, je vais juste regarder qu ce qui se passe en dehors de la grange. Euh, il y a des trucs à regarder, donc on va voir qu ce qu'il y a à dire. Ok, ici maintenant. C'est qu'on va prendre de quoi Ah, ok, d'accord, on a prêté ça. On va peut-être pas de quoi avec ses pains, on sait jamais. Donc si, je sais qu'on peut garder là, mais... Euh, va aller dans la grange donner la casquette à Clomatime. Est-ce qu'il me semble que t'as Clomatime la casquette, hein On va plus juste regarder ça, là. Looks like a feeding station for the cow. Ok, d'accord. Donc c'est ça, on va aller ici. Voyons donc. It's ok Clementine, you can pet her. It's okay, go ahead. Whoa! Katja says Mabel could have a baby tonight. We'll see, Clementine. What's this thing? They said it's called a salt lick. Yeah, but don't lick it. It's gross. Did you lick it? I don't know. 
Ok, donc, Clamot Time. On va aller pas là, ça va être la nouvelle casquette. She's pretty. Ah, voilà, un petit cadeau pour toi. Here, Clementine. My hat, you found it. I knew you'd find it. You said you would. Listen, did you give your hat to anyone? No. Did you see any strangers around the motor and who might have taken it? No. Why? It's probably nothing. Just let me know if you ever see anything like that. Okay, I will. Hey, Lee, do you think you'll ever have kids? I'd like to someday. Maybe a little girl like you. That's nice. You'd be a good daddy. Well, thanks for finding my hat. You're welcome, Clem. Do you want to pet the cow with me? Ah, uh, but you go on, Amy. Okay. Have I missed anything? No, not really. Hmm, it smells funny in here. Like manure. What's manure? Duty. <laughs> Kids. Hey there, Andy. Yeah. How's the cow? Well. Better now we got Doc on the case. Um, when do you think, uh, we might eat? Hungry, huh? <laughs> Don't worry. Mama's cooking up some good grub. We met this woman up in the woods. She seemed to know your brother. Uh, yeah, he, uh, he probably talks a little more than he ought to. Thanks. Yep. Euh, en fait, quand euh, ce bonhomme-là, il s'appelle Handy, hein, ce bonhomme, voyons, donc, je ne savais même pas, mais j'ai toujours une marque qu'on a aussi, il y a plein de choses qu'on peut prendre, hein, voyons, donc, mais c'est ça qui m'intéresse avant tout. You found it too, hein? Lee, they're hiding something behind this door. I got a quick look. They got boxes of stuff, something metal and sharp. Don't get paranoid. It's my job to be paranoid, Lee. I got my whole family on this farm right now. How about you? What about Clem? I'll protect her no matter what. I know you will. Look, that guy with Kasia, what's his name? He locked it up real tight the second we came in. I definitely heard a noise back there, Lee. What? My point is we gotta know for sure. So go find a hammer or something and I'll have this thing off in a second. You back me up in case them farmers come running. Hang on, man. Think this through. You smash the lock. Then what if it turns out you're wrong? You just fucked your chance to get a good meal on those kids you're trying to protect. Use your head, Kenny. All right, Professor. What'd you have in mind? Let me have a look at what we're dealing with first. Hey, Lee. You know how to pick a lock, right? No. Why would you say that? Well, you're, you know, urban? Oh, you are not saying what I think you're saying. Jesus, man, I'm from Florida. Crazy shit just comes out of my mouth sometimes. Sorry. Hmm. What? See those screws? Instead of breaking the padlock, we can just take off the assembly, have a peek inside, and then replace it all again like nothing ever happened. All right, sounds like you got a plan. I'll hang around and keep an eye on that guy with the cow. Andy. Shit, I, th I thought that was Danny. Whatever. Can I help you boys find something? Just checking out the barn here. Never been to a dairy farm before. Just don't roam around without me or Danny. The farm can be a dangerous place. You know, the bandits and all. Sorry about your friend. Hey, uh, do me a favor. Don't fuck around with this door, okay? Just, you know, Mama gets nervous. Andrew, I need your help again. No problem. Right away, Doc. Oh, voici de vrai cette porte, je pense, hein? Avec ça de l'air qui, qui, euh, qui cache de quoi derrière cette porte, hein? On va voir qu'est-ce qu'il y a à, à, à dire. 
Any thoughts on how to distract Andy? I don't know, man. Just look for something outside of the barn. We need him out of here. Ok, d'accord. Mon petit Andy, donc en gros, je pense qu'il faut que faire partir Andy de là pour qu'on puisse ouvrir la porte sans qu'il sache, hein, je pense. Donc, qu'est-ce qu'on fait C'est qu'on va sortir de la glange. Oh, on va trouver un moyen. J'avais convié un autre truc et maintenant c'est ça le moyen. Et comment ça Dans le grange, il fait comme jour, et il fait nuit dehors direct. Oh. Que je... <rire> so, how does a woman like yourself run this whole place Oh, I manage just fine. Plus, I have my boys to help out. I couldn't do it without them. Qui se tient de ça dehors, il fait juste le, c'est comme un petit peu le jour là, mais bon, en tout cas. Le doulet, donc euh, me semble que le moyen c'est ça avec euh... ouais c'est ça le moyen Oui, Andy, ça va prendre une éternité. On a fait un bon plan pour que Andy sorte. Maintenant, on va aller voir que se trouve derrière cette porte. Allons-y, les bladaises. <rire> en plus, Andy pense que c'est Danny qui a fait ça. Oh, voyons donc. On doit tellement les faire chier. Voyons donc. Juste pour ouvrir la porte. <rire> euh... Allons-y. Ça y est, ça. Voir que ce casse derrière cette porte. Mom, Dad, dinner time! It's dinner time! Ok, honey, let's get that. Dad! Dad! Come on! Let's eat! Kenny, come along, honey. Kenny, come on. Don't make the children wait. I'll make an excuse for you. Get that thing off. Just came in and found the door open like that. Probably my idea, brother. Hey, was anyone with you just now? No. Not the doc? No, she went in the house. Oh, good. Uh, yeah, good. Oh, my God. Andy thinks that it's all Danny who did that. Oh, 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 Brenda, you wow. are an angel. Oh, Excuse me, miss. We had to block the back door after Walker got upstairs. Don't worry. That was a while ago, and I ain't been back inside since. Everybody sit down. I'll go get the meal. Oh, this is a delight. I could eat a horse. Where's Mom? Now, don't you worry about him. I've already brought some food. You just let him rest. Mind if I wash my hands first? Bathroom's right outside in the hall. And be sure to get under your nails. You've been mucking around in the dirt all day. Oh, d'accord. Donc on va monter à l'étage pour voir que se passe-t-il à l'étage. Tonki, tonki, tonki. 
ici, là Fais pas trop de bruit Mais non Voyons donc, lit là, dans mon déponiment, dans mon tarot Pour aller voir Marc, parce que Marc, depuis qu'il a, qu a reçu sa flèche, on l'a même pas vu, voyons donc Oh, ok, d'accord, ça sent pas ici, hein. Ah, ben attendez une minute, une petite minute à notre porte ici, voyons donc. Ah, qu'est-ce que pense-t-il Il y a une chose, une chose à prendre ici. Ah, oui, ça. C'est mieux de trouver des choses qu'on peut prendre, n'est-ce pas Ok, on va, on va faire une grille. On va si... On peut voir... Qu'est-ce qu'il va dire venir ici ah ok on peut aller voir avec cette porte en fait pas avec la bibliothèque maintenant J'ai dit là pour manger le dîner. Allez, allez, vite, vite, pour courir, pour courir, pour courir. Don't eat that. What? Hi, huh? Lee, Jesus, man, did you find something? Oh, sit your ass down, Lee. This lady has made you a meal. Yeah, Lee, what's gotten into you? He just had a star. They can use some goddamn manners. Mark is upstairs with his fucking legs cut off! You're eating him! That's crazy! What the hell? You're scaring the kids, Lee. Lee, what the hell is wrong with you? Don't indulge him, Lily. It's always something with this guy. Mom, I was eating that! Go upstairs and look. You'll find the guy with both of his legs hacked off. This is a dairy, not a ranch. Think about it! It's true. Everything could have turned out okay for you folks. He would have died anyway. We gotta think about living. Settle down, honey. Growing up in rural Georgia, you're taught not to waste. It's how I was raised and how I raised my boss. Now, you got monsters roaming around that do nothing but eat people. And for what? To continue to rot till they eat some more. We think we can put that meat to bed. Sick in the head! Lee, that's not a very nice thing to apply. Andy is right. We go after folks who were gonna die anyways, one way or another. Like y'all. Clementine, run! Nobody's going anywhere! We got lots of use for y'all right here. 
What the what? The fucking what? Put your guns down. We're walking out of here. here my Mommy, family. I don't want to die. Mommy, I want to eat. Everyone, everything will be okay. Please, please. Let go of her, you son of a bitch. Donc le prochain coup ça va se regarder, on va s'arrêter là, mais je sais pas quand on va se regarder malheureusement. Come on Larry, do you really want to attract their attention? Yeah, I want to attract their attention, so I can fucking kill them! Guess your new girlfriend wasn't all she was cracked up to be. What the hell is your problem? You refused to give me my day's rations back at the motor lodge, and you went out of your way to be an asshole to me tonight. You must really hate me. But guess what? You're stuck with me. I plan to be around long after you're gone. And if you turn, I'll be the one to put the axe through your skull. Dad! I'm not your enemy, Larry. I don't believe you. Don't forget, I know who you really are. Come on, try us out. Your dad's not making things any easier for us. Open the fucking dad, door! Dad, stop! God damn it! There's more of us on the way! Let us out now! Get your you catch him, duck, Lee! Those fuckers have my family! I know! We're gonna get out of here and find them! They're not gonna open the door! You think a fucking apocalypse? I'll break that damn door down! Dad, yeah, you can't get... Uh, uh, Easy. Oh, God. Dad? No. Dad, come on. Dad! Oh, God. He stopped breathing. I think he's had a heart attack. Shit. Is he dead? He's not dead. Somebody help me. Fuck. If he's dead... He's not dead. What has to happen, Lee? Think about it. You saw that poor bastard in the motel, how fast he turned? What are you saying? Lily, I'm sorry, I truly, truly am. But in a few minutes, we're gonna be stuck in a locked room with a six foot four, 300 pound, seriously pissed off dead guy. Fuck you! We can bring him back! Lee! Good morning later, but right now we have to keep him from coming back. No! God damn it, Kenny! He's not dead! Lily can still save him. I wish she could. Believe me, I do. But that man is dead. You both know what happens next. Kenny, listen. Don't think I forgot about what you said at the drugstore. When you all thought Duck was bitten. Well, I'm just doing the same thing. Except Duck wasn't bitten. And we know this guy's not gonna make it. Remember what Ben said. Gotta destroy the brain. Come on, Lee. You can't be in the middle on this one. You gotta have my back this time. 
God damn it, Lee, I need you! Please help me! Come on, Dad. Come on. Wait. Lee! Is he breathing at all? No! No, I don't think so! Okay, let me take over. Keep checking his pulse. Are you stupid? He's gonna turn! What? You're putting all of us at risk, you son of a bitch! Freeze, you're fucking worthless, Lee. to be done. You don't know that! Yes, I do, Lee. And so do you. I was counting on you, man. I'm sorry. I know. Don't you fucking touch me! Are you okay? Is it over? Not yet. We still have to find a way out of here. I know. I know. But you gotta be strong right now. I need you to be strong. Think about something else. Something hopeful. Like what? Getting out of here. We're gonna get out, right? You found a way out? I'm working on it. Ok, le bonhomme, là, le père de Lily est dead, et là, je comprends pas pourquoi le jeu ne sauvegarde pas, malheureusement, là. Mais, on va s'arrêter ici, parce que le jeu, je comprends pas pourquoi il se sauvegarde plus, genre, what the fuck, que je pensais, ça allait se sauvegarder bientôt, mais non, c'est long avec un sauvegarde, puis là, c'est ça que c'est ça, donc, qu'est-ce qu'on va faire, c'est qu'on va s'arrêter ici, le prochain coup, on va... Euh, on va rappeler un petit là, c'est ça qui est ça, mais bon, en tout cas les boys, on va sortir ici, on va se retrouver pour une vidéo de Walking Dead. Bye bye